Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial, guys, I'll be showing you how to fix the green screen issue should it happen on the S22. Now, of course, this is the S22. This is simply a demonstration or a recreation, all right? So basically what happens, guys, is that on um, older devices such as the um, S10, I had a S10 with this particular issue previously. And from then, I did a tutorial. Um, I have a separate video on that. That I did and showed how to deal with the problem. So basically from what I've learned from that, I've put together this um, tutorial to help out those who may be having the issue. All right, so please note that um, with the green screen issue, the problem may, might be that the display might be faded and it shows green. It can also show other colors, but the main color is green where it shows a fading and it turns to green. And of course, once the display turns to green, you're unable to see anything on screen. This seems to be an issue that has been tracked down to the Samsung display. Um, some people have decided to change out the display and that does help. However, um, in case you do not have the funds to change out the display, especially if you had your device for a little while and um, it's no longer in warranty, you may have to just work around the issue as I'm about to show you how to combat the issue on your device. All right, so I won't talk anymore. So um, let's go straight into the fix. So in case your display is turned green or that faded green look, um, one of the main things I've found to help with the issue is if the display has turned totally faded and you can't see anything on the display, go ahead guys and locate your power button. So locate power and volume down. I'm not going to do it on this. So you're going to press power and volume down and you're going to hold until the device restarts. Usually if you restart at least a few times, um, when it reboots or it's force rebooted, what should happen is that um, it should come back and of course in some cases you'll start to see stuff on display. Now if you start to see stuff on the display, do not um, rest. It's right away what I want you to do is the next thing that I find that works to fix this issue. And what I want you to do guys is to go ahead and swipe down. You're going to swipe down again. You're going to go right here to the um, volume, sorry, the brightness control. And once you go to um, brightness control, you're going to turn off adaptive brightness. And I suggest that you set your um, brightness level to quarter or lower of the brightness. So you can estimate, do not turn up the brightness too high. If it's turned up too high, usually half or above, it's going to cause the display to short out. What I find is if you um, divide it into quartiles, at least to here, the quarter, the last quartile or lower, um, I would advise that you put it right here on the last quartile. So imagine half, then another half. Sorry, I'm going to do that again. So go back here, go in here. Imagine a half on a last quarter or the last quartile, then place it to the last quartile. Uh, make sure adaptive brightness is off so it doesn't automatically adjust. All right, once you do that, you should be good. And what will happen is that that way the display will not try to adjust the brightness and the issue will come back. So keep it to the last quartile. Also, I found, guys, that if you press the power button in some cases, the um, it will trigger the um, trigger the green screen. So what I suggest you do is go ahead and go to your settings. And something I find is the always on display. So go to always on display. You can search. Once you turn on always on display, go ahead and turn it on. Meaning as soon as the screen goes to sleep, it will come on. That does help. So make sure the always on display is on. Do not press the power button and allow your screen to go naturally go to sleep. What will happen is that once the screen naturally goes to sleep, um, it will awaken again by itself. And usually when the always on display is on, it helps to fix the problem in that it will turn on the screen. So notice the screen is not going to sleep. Give it a little while. And the always on display is going to help in that it will keep the display up. That way you don't have to press the power button. And in my cases in the past, I've found that if you press the power button, it tends to add to the problem. So allow the always on display to um, come on. And once it does, and once it does, you'll find that it will wait on the screen and it will make things easier. So the always on display should help. So if you do all of those things, guys, including keeping the brightness right at the right spot, plus um, force restarting just to get the display to show enough to adjust the brightness, turn off adaptive brightness, Turn on the always on display, avoid using your power button for a while, especially if it's triggering the, the issue. You'll find that once it naturally goes to sleep, you can effectively awaken your device and it will keep. Usually if you adjust the brightness higher, it will come back. If you um, sometimes use the power button, it will come back. So do keep those things in mind. Also, guys, if you have any um, other suggestions, you can do so in the comments. These are the things that I've found to work 
with the green screen issue as it relates to the um the samsung devices please note that these also work on older devices including the s21 s20 s10 and even any other device that um has the problem if you have any feedback as always please share ricardo from blog tech tips and bye until next time bye